Hi Capricorn, it's Tuesday and we're going to do your reading. So this is just pre-shuffle. I'm going to share this with you real quick and then we'll lay out a spread. But this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's general, of course, as you know, will not, cannot resonate for everyone. I do set the intention that, it, that the, the, if you came across it, this message is for you and we'll have something for you in it. So um, anyway, just never stick with a tarot reading that frustrates you or is confusing, okay? So, um, how are you? I love you guys. I hope you're well. The strangest thing just happened. I turned on the camera and I started to say, hey, Scorpio. And I've been, you know, warming up and, and prepping and, you know, meditating over Capricorn and your cards. And then I started to laugh. So I said, hey, Scorpio. And then I went, whoa, no, not Scorpio. And then I went, Capricorn, this is Lucy. And I started to call myself Lucy. So I called you Capricorn. I mean, you <laughs> Scorpio. And me, Lucy. Okay, enough of that. Obviously, I uh, maybe have a throat chakra issue going on or I'm picking up on someone, one of you who does. Okay, so we've got the, <laughs> the regret card. Oh, and we're going to do um, charms at the end. So stick around. I'm going to bring back charms, okay? So if someone feels remorse for the way they treated you, You've learned a spiritual lesson. These are powerful. This is a powerful um, pre-shuffle. This friendship is leading to more. So I feel like you may have... Uh, I'm not... Cher cherry blossoms are beautiful, aren't they, in this card? This is the All Things Intuitive Tarot or Oracles. But anyway, I feel like there's somebody maybe stabbed you in the back. I feel major, massive success coming. All right, there's the Queen of Pentacles. Um, successful, resourceful, stable, respected. Here's the uh, Lover's card. Within every good there is bad. Within every bad there is good. This card is some is pulling some don't judge. Um, I think somebody wronged you. I think you're about to shine. But I also feel like this is... The Lover's card is typically, you know, telling us... Um, it's about making a decision right so incorporate that if you however if you need to but i'm feeling what i'm picking up from this card is not to judge you know with that yin yang so if somebody was wrong wronged you try not to judge too much you know or you can but i felt like saying that it's <laughs> six of wands um victory success and not only victory and success but it's others praising you recognizing you if you're about to if you're working on like a youtube channel or a blog or something like that keep going um because this is if this is about that crazy um i'm just feeling overwhelming success and that's where this card would tell you you know within every good there is bad so it's not going to be all rainbows and butterflies so if it's if you're on a downswing or you're struggling um yes make changes um if, you know or tweak or course correct you know um if you need to but don't stop and don't think that if it's you know hit a hard spot or whatever that it's that that you don't quit don't give up because there's gonna be those downswings and those downswings usually propel us higher than we were before the downswing okay something like that you're gonna be very successful let's let me show you this so because I was feeling success in money I pulled this deck that I like to use for um, money so we've got the four of Pentacles so this looks like <sighs> It could be something you are afraid. You're afraid of letting go of something, um, but sometimes you have to let go of that fear of letting go or maybe letting go of something to, to get, gain more. You know, it's like a sacrifice. This Four of Pentacles is fear of losing out. So that could have to do with why you're feeling um, just whatever you're feeling, frustrated, discouraged, just this is screaming not to worry okay the star card this is hope healing um this card is screaming abundance and this is magician so again you're very resourceful you have all the tools you need we have aries and aquarius energy there and remember in the beginning i said lucy and um scorpio so. and there's gemini okay not that those you know don't put too much into that but 
I am fumbling. Okay, so let's get started. How are you? Love you guys. I do not do personals. Um, I do almost personals. Those were amazing. They are my best, all-time best readings. They are not, they're not watched by very many people. So they come through very, very uh, specific and detailed like a personal reading they're a fraction of the price so I strongly recommend you check those out if you are into personals or want more details okay see if those pull to you which one pulls to you so seven of swords okay holding your ground I like that wow there's the death card and the full card so something ending and something new beginning how about that the death card means uh, you know it could be be a cycle it could be a friendship but it could be renewed this is a clear slate the fool drops baggage and starts anew okay um so seven of swords is holding your ground why do we have the um let's i'm trying to figure out which spread to do i'm going to do general here you at the top outside influences or the person you're thinking about down here okay there's the magician again so i'm going to take it because it's kind of screaming at me so bottom of the deck is the magician so holding your ground this is action and it's clear and decisive with that king of swords um so don't stop doing what you're doing stay steadfast you are able to create what you want Okay, so it's Princess of uh, Pentacles says, so that's like a, um, a good steward, somebody who's willing to learn and grow. You know, the smart, the, the, we never stop growing. I hope you never learn your love and passion to learn and grow, okay? Um, but that's somebody that is going to, that is going to put in the work to become big. The, this person is going to learn. They're going to do the work. They're going to... Um, <clears throat> They're not going to ever have that attitude of they know too much. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Okay, let's see. What else? Wow, the Empress. So that's creation. You've got two cards of creation. Two of Wands. So two of Wands is which direction to go? Another two. Um... If there's a question that has to do with something that could be foolish, the decision either being foolish or the more traditional route, I think this is leaning towards the more traditional route. Um, Princess of Cups with the dolphin. So dolphins are, you know, they're both mammal and sea creatures, so they're often... Um, The spirit, the, one of the card the oracle cards we have on dolphin, I just read it. This is how I remember this, but it's about this and that are true. So you can, there can be, good, again, the yin yang. I feel the yin yang. Within every good, there is bad. So nine of pentacles. Um, so your outside influence or person on your mind. Okay. Two of Swords. I'm going to stick these up here a little bit so you guys can see them. If I can get them to go. Maybe not. Ugh. Okay, maybe not. I'll show them to you. So, Nine of Pentacles and Two of Swords. So, interesting. That alone right there makes it look like... Oh my gosh, I forgot to take Lucy out. I totally forgot to take Lucy out. It's like 2 o'clock. I haven't even let her outside yet. She's a good girl. Um, hold on just a second. Sorry. Somebody was walking in my house and I did not know. It was my son. So, um, okay. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords. So uh, that looks like something maybe being them. They're blocking their abundance. Somebody in your outside environment is blocking their abundance. 
<gasps> yeah. Conflict. Wow. Five of Wands. That's like competition, bickering, um, irritability. Wow. So somebody you're dealing with is, you know, not on your level, it looks like. Interesting. Well, they're going to see you shine. I mean, that was strong in the beginning. Two of Cups. That, that two people that give equally strength. Again, we're about duality um, within every... The strength card is about balancing the, the lion and the lamb. And this is two people who give equally. But also, the strength card could be holding back. Interesting. Let's look at what's next, and then we'll clarify. I do feel a strong reading here. Nine of Swords. So, a lot of mental... Huh. Oh, okay. The Tower. It's not over. Okay. But it's going to be rebuilt. And it's going to be passionate. Okay, let me read these. In the, in the what's next, you've got Nine of Swords. That's, you know, pain. It's being wounded. And then a tower comes crumbling down. So whatever this is that's going on, maybe somebody deceptive. What did those cards say? Within every good there is bad. Remember that? There's a judgment or a decision needing to be made. You've got money coming and success and victory. Those look really cool there. You zoom out. I don't know if y'all can see those, but these look super cool there. Let me lower a light. I'm sorry. Hold on. She goes to see those. Oh, I'll have to fix it for next time, but that looks pretty cool right there, those cards. Um, so th this is difficulty, right? It's uh, wounded. And, and the tower is going to fall. This is future, so I don't think this has happened yet. It's maybe, you know, within the next week, day, days, or a few months coming. Sometimes my predictions, in, not, in, not in tarot necessarily, but in life, I predict a lot of things in life, and I tend to be really early. Um, I start feeling it um, months, months ahead. Anyway, King of Pentacles, we've got King and Queen of Pentacles, we've got an Empress, we've got Pentacles all over the place. There's going to be a, um, somebody's going to rise up, there's going to be a second chance, but there's going to be pain in the tower fall first. So I'm wondering if this has to do with some kind of deception coming out. Because again, it looks like there's a decision for you somewhere. Okay, let's start clarifying. <clears throat> Tell me about Capricorn's energy. I hope we have time for charms. Okay. The star. So Capricorn, you've got big goals, big dreams, and big abundance. You're able to create that. You've got Empress and Magician, two cards of creation. But it does look like there's a decision that you could go either way. Follow your passion. Um, okay, what was that? Did y'all see that? Four cups. Hmm. Interesting, because I just said follow your passion, and this says, you know, four cups is typically... You guys might just have somebody that's not pulling their weight. Because the Four of Cups is like boredom, lack of interest, or missed opportunity. Somebody may be missing out on you and what you're achieving. If somebody is telling you that you can't do it or you're, it's a pipe dream or something like that, ignore that. Strong Leo energy. We've got the Sun card, Happiness, and Seven of Pentacles. You, okay, somebody is very happy when they're working hard. That's going to be an indication of something. Maybe 
if you're in a place where you're feeling stuck or overwhelmed, you need to get force yourself to get back back to working hard because that's going to solve it for you. That's going to bring get your passion going again. King of Pen I mean Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and Justice. There's going to be a truth come out, and I think it it has to do with a woman. Let me grab the um, Kipper deck real quick. Let me see. Hope this is making sense to you guys, because I feel like I'm getting a very strong message, but um, it's not real clear. The only thing that is clear is that there's a decision or some truth that's coming coming out, and you're going to come out ahead, and you've got abundance. So whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, I don't feel that one. Courtship and journey. Gosh, journey showed up a minute ago. Um, whoever that Queen of Pentacles is, I'm not, I'm feeling like something, some sort of truth is going to come out. High honor. Courtship, journey, high honor. Huh. Thief. Wow. So there is some sort of truth, deception, some something I think it's going to be somewhat shocking. Somebody, there's a faker. Gosh, somebody else had this. Who else had this? These readings have been somewhat repetitive. Somebody else has <clears throat> something going on that somebody's fake or not, um, not what they seem to be or not doing the work or they're fake working or fake something. Tell me about the magician. And then we'll focus more on the outcome. Three of Wands. Progress. Again, I have to say, don't forget your progress. You've got progress coming. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles, too, and cooperation. And there's the letters again. Interesting. So, tell me what's going on with this tower and this judgment card. Thank you. So, the cards are really warming up. Um, you already know. I think your gut feeling, and I keep getting uh, Queen's... I think your gut feeling is right. You know that there's something not up to par. And that person, I think, is going to be exposed and left out. You just got to keep doing your thing. Don't let somebody else's dis... You're going to win big, is what I just keep getting. I don't know if I'm not articulating it very well. Six of Pentacles. Prince of Pentacles. You're going to have... And Prince of Cups. So maybe you're worried about losing an employee or something like that, but you're going to, um, six of pentacles is, you know, abundance. It's having enough to give. There's, we have a lot of youthful energy, so it might be, there might be kids, I don't know, kids in college, something like that. Maybe you're worried about paying for college. Prince of pentacles, prince of cups, lots of young male energy. I don't know that this is connected uh, to the, you know, deception going on. But deception is going to be exposed. Spirit's going to step in. Karma, probably. That's Sagittarius energy. And that person, hangman. Yeah, that person, I just saw hangman. That person's going to be exposed. And they're going to see you. Tell me more about um, Capricorn's outcome. And then we'll pull some charms. I don't even know if we need to pull charms. Five of Swords is conflict, and Four of Swords is, you know, removing yourself from, from the conflict. It's um, not being involved anymore. Things are going to balance out. Patience balance. This is telling you to be patient. You've got major abundance coming. Look at this Wheel of Fortune. So, hopefully, that made a lot of sense. It was a little crazy, but um, I do feel like that's a super strong reading. I want to see what you're manifesting real quick. I gotta find the right deck. Where is that deck? I want to make sure you guys aren't focusing on the negative so much that you're manifesting negative things. Remember, because what you think about, you bring about. Also, you guys, 
I don't know if I've told you guys this. I, you know, I study neuroscientists um, nonstop and how the brain works and how to come out of, you know, feeling down. And that's really why I started the channel is to not tell you what's going on in your life, but to help you, you know, grow through it. But what I'm, I've seen a lot of, there's a lot of science about nose breathing because when you breathe through, it's totally off the, off the cuff, but um, when you breathe through the nose that you get more oxygen. If you don't breathe through your nose, your sinus, you know, passages start to close. It's like if you don't use it, you lose it. You start, if, ha, your face even changes. You start, your passages start getting smaller. Um, you get less oxygen. There's a ton of benefits about breathing through the nose. And even if it's not easy at first, if you keep trying, those passages will open up. Like I've gotten to where I can even be on the treadmill. I couldn't do, I, I, I it was something I had to work on. I, but now I've gotten to where I can even be on the treadmill and not with my, my you know, and just nose breathe. And, you know, you, you take a breath of air, gasp for air when you need to. But, and I've put tape over my mouth to help myself not open my mouth in my sleep that's how f important it is it's there's so many studies about it. it can literally change you know your your life in a way of you get more oxygen you don't get sick as much because the the breath is you know it's uh, moistened and it has to go through all the, i don't know different pathways to get down d there's look it up if you don't believe me it's crazy benefits try breathing through your nose Okay, so this is, I am in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to me. When I connect to the spiritual realm, I open the door to receive divine guidance, clear direction, and great wisdom. How about that? That's crazy. These two are so congruent. So what I think this is saying is just remember that you have spirit on your side. You are going to be successful. These people or whoever didn't either doubted you or hurt you or you know caused conflict or interference they're gonna see you shine you're about to win big okay um money's coming don't stop doing what you're doing and this is a reminder to you know ask for help and watch for signs and be thankful okay so that's good that tells me that you're not manifest oops you're not manifesting bad things um you know, maybe just, I think you just might be a little worried, but don't stop doing what you're doing because it's about to pay off. Let's do your charms real quick. Oh, we got to hurry. We're running out of time. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to lay out some numbers and some letters and see if you guys, oh, I forgot to tell you, I've got Leo, Leo. Um, Aries, we had Sag, we have everything. We have Sag strong, we have Sag really strong. Um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Libra again. Okay, we had everything, but I was just showing you the ones that stood out. So I'm gonna lay out some let some dice. So that could be a one, could be a four. Just take it how you see it, okay? And then some letters that you can try and make sense of some initials or um, words maybe. T Y. That automatically reminds me of thank you. There's a blank. C L E I. Oh. Uh oh. Sorry, I can resist. Okay. Um. W F Flint. D L Oh, there's love. A 
Okay, fled. Um, let's look at some charms. So you guys can try and make words out of that. I love when you guys tell me how the charms resonated to you. And, you know, I'm giving away a ton of prizes, so all you have to do is leave comments. I'm giving away the phone, one of my candles that you love, the wind chimes, tons and tons of crystal, healing crystal bracelets. So just all you have to do is leave comments and hit the bell. Um, the more comments, the better. Okay, so heart. Oh, here's a feather. I don't know why I felt Libra again. There's a boat, I mean a life, a, what are these called? A life ring? I feel like there's another word for that. I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. Aw. I love you. Kitty cat. I just, I felt um, cat, cat or pink pajamas. Something like that. And, um... This is ambitious. Oh, wow, look at that. There you are, Capricorn. Okay. Oh, another cat. Somebody has cats. Kitty cats. Oh my gosh, another cat. Look at this. Three cats. How crazy is that? And there's a starfish. And Paris, Eiffel Tower. Okay. I just can't stop. I see. There's a, a dime. I don't know why. There's a little. Okay, and there's some white pants. Maybe jeans. White jeans. I don't know. Love you guys. Let me know in the comments. I hope this was helpful. And um, you're gonna win big. Every the people, whoever this is that wronged you, is it gonna get their. You know, it's gonna be turned around. Don't stop doing what you're doing. You're doing the right thing. Um, and also there's a, there's a message that even if somebody has been bad, like try not to judge them. Cause maybe, it, maybe it's cause of judging them is just, you know, putting you in a lower vibe. Maybe it's just a reminder for that. Okay. All right. Let me know in the comments. I love you guys. Bye Capricorn.